journey of Iron Man, and frankly, the journey of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe started with the journey of Tony Stark. And the exciting thing about Iron Man 3 is, yes, it's the culmination from Iron Man 1 and 2, but it's also a follow-up to the Avengers. And in a way, that liberates it to be more unique than anything that has come before. Mr. Robert Downey Jr. Oh, this is great. Good things tend to happen in threes. What we really have this time, and anyone who's read the script and the excitement of getting ready to do this, is we've kind of earned the right to bring this to another level of complexity. And Shane, through his writing and directing, is making this by far the most ambitious, the most story-oriented, the most character explorative of all of these movies ever. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming Shane Black. Robert is the kind of actor that challenges you in a way that's exciting. Hanging around Robert keeps me on my toes. It's just a really challenging and invigorating kind of creative relationship, and I feel it brings out my best. I'm here working for you. I mean, there's a new camera. Hey! Shot one down! All right, we got 22,000 to go. <laughs> Welcome to Tony's workshop. <laughs> Having been reintroduced to my humility by Sifu Eric Oram, we're going to look at a previs. I'm going to start talking shop. What I really like so far is this as the first command, is I'm in control. And then if this is what he's trying to do to call the first one. We've got the uh, Suit Connect sequence, which basically involves Tony Stark trying a new move where he has control of the suit pieces. He's hoping that they're all going to sort of fly over to him and connect. All right, I think we got this. Send them all. It doesn't quite go as planned. A few of the pieces go AWOL, and unfortunately, he goes flying. We're marking key points on his body so we can track wherever his body goes so that we can then put the Iron Man suit on him. We're going to get him. We're going to scoop his legs up. We wanted the ability to be able to suit up anywhere, anyhow, without a giant gantry. He's basically drilled little outlets subcutaneously beneath this exterior layer of skin that can draw the suit to him when he wants it. Nailed it. We're at least setting up that there is a language that does stuff that would give us an opportunity to figure out what is it that calls the whole suit. We like painting Tony into a corner and taking away all of his toys and all of the immense wealth and assets that he has and leave him with just his mind and see how he can get out of that situation. This was the very first sequence that we storyboarded, the first sequence that we previous and the most exciting. We had it tied pretty early on in the process. The sheer panic that you should have throughout the sequence is that he's not going to make it alive, nor is Pepper, nor is Maya. Two, one, the mansion was designed by the first production designer, Michael Riva, and he did a brilliant job. What we did is we tweaked it and made it a little different and bigger and changed the art, kind of shook it up a little bit so the audience feels like they're seeing a new place, but they're familiar with it. And then we built it on a huge platform on a large stage in Wilmington. It was built on a gimbal. And for those who don't know, a gimbal is basically a, a platform that can bend and tip and go like this. Well, this one just broke in the middle and just bends. And it was a bit, it's like the Brooklyn Bridge. They built this big steel armature, and they were literally able to just drop the set. Robert was really interested in having Pepper do more in this movie. And I just say, this I got you. So hot. There were talks of Pepper getting in the suit at the end of two, but Marvel wasn't ready to do it yet. Frankly, just didn't have a great idea of how to, of how to do it. But we really loved that image. We thought it was a striking image. And then Shane Black had, a, had an idea that there's an attack on Tony's house. And it's a lot of fun to see Pepper and Tony team up in a great sort of old-fashioned action movie way. I didn't mind wearing the suit at all. I thought it was light and perfectly comfortable. And my children thought I was extremely cool. I don't want to stay here. You're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> One of the things that I wanted to do was get as much practical stuff inside the house as possible. So whenever you're inside the house, we wanted to at least have a set on a gimbal and have the house spinning apart and have, you know, rupturing and all this dust and debris falling and massive explosions coming in, and it was spectacular. 
So all the interior was done as a good basis for us. And then all the exterior stuff, it became 100% digital.